Hello at SMM Sunday School. Today I'm going to tell you another story. Today is actually, well, let me tell you a story and then I'll, I'll tell you what I'm trying to say. So Jesus died and rose again and then now they were in Jerusalem with the disciples like this. So Jesus actually given them some instructions. He said, whoa, God has been doing so many great things on earth, but I need your help telling them. I need you to go and tell everybody, your friends and family and, and everybody that you meet, that all the good things that God has done and everything that you've learned from following me. And while he was saying this, uh, whoa, he started lifting and then disappeared. So two men in white were saying, oh, okay, oh, where did Jesus go? So two men in white came and said, why are you still looking? Jesus will come back one day. So they said, well, yeah, okay, we have work to do now. So they went and go and tell and read out all the story about Jesus. So this is called the ascension, means going up. So they're thinking, why is Jesus going up? Because he came down in the first place. So now I'm going to tell you the story that you already know. But let me try and see, okay, I know you are still tired doing your work, but stay good. And then, eh. So remember, I was telling you way back when, that God and us are actually together, very happy in love. And then somehow I said, well, I actually want to do my own thing. So we went to do our own thing and that's called sin. Yep. So God said, well, no, actually, that's not going to work because you're not going to be happy. What I am trying to tell you is that you, you have to, the best thing is to be with me forever. So, okay, I have a plan. So he said, well, I will send my son Jesus to show you what it's like to love me and to be loved by me. So, remember Angel? Yeah, so Angel went and tell, first of all, Angel went to tell Mary. He said, oh, Mary, you're going to have a baby and the baby is called Jesus. And so after that, we have this. What does it look like? Christmas. So Jesus was born, remember, coming down. So Jesus, the light of the world, is here. So Jesus grew up and then he, he became the Good Shepherd, teaching people everything about God, about love, about justice and mercy and peace. And then there's disciples, because he needs those people to help him do the same work. But then some people actually don't like what he was teaching, because at the time, there are people who thought, well, you're teaching about the kingdom of God. Are you trying to have another government? I don't like it. So they killed Jesus and put him on the cross. But then God said, well, no, 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 no. That is not right. Nothing can actually hold Jesus down. So Jesus died and rose again three days later and so the tomb was empty. Now you think, so he came down. He has to go back up to the Father because he came from the Father. Remember, he came from the Father. So ascension is about Jesus going back to the Father and bringing all of us with him because Jesus is both human and also God. So going back to the Father bringing all of us with him. So we are back where we are supposed to be at the very beginning. So this is why ascension is important. So now you know the whole story, but you do know a secret. So what does it tell us about human beings? Well, if it takes so much for God to come down, God said, yeah, it's good. Yes, let's send my son to be one of them. That means human being is actually very good. Now, I, looked, I know some of you sometimes say, well, it's been 11 weeks since I am stuck inside. I cannot find anything that is good about myself. I don't care. I don't want to care. Maybe I'll do something to myself just to feel that I, I'm still around. The fact that God comes out and says, well, I would want to be one of them, human being. That means we are actually holy. So remember... It doesn't matter whether we are going through hardship, God is always, always, always behind us. 
Because God said, well, you're so good that I'm giving you the whole creation to actually enjoy. And you actually, I tell you, because you are a little bit higher than the animals, you have to also take care of them. So this is how important we are. So anytime when you think, oh, well, I cannot think about anything good about myself. I, have, I don't even know what I'm doing here. And you, you're trying to do funky things that are actually not so good and maybe harmful. Think again. Because you are actually holy. And that's why I say, well, I, I come down and I go back up and bring in all of you with Jesus so that we are back to, well, bring you back in heaven and be in God's love again. So next time, it is always normal to feel like, I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to scream, I want to do something, throw something, even throw something at myself. Note and then stop and think, God actually loves me because God thinks I am holy enough that he sent his son to be one of us. So remember God and the Holy Spirit, it just change. He hasn't gone. Remember, I told you last time, right? So God is always around. Pray to God, talk to Jesus, and then stay with us and pray. So until next week, have a lovely week, and then I'll see you again. Bye.